Twas the Night, featuring your favorite real Santa, featuring Santa R.W. And this is an adapted version narrated by his wife, Mrs. Santa R.W. Glory Claus. This version of Twas the Night, featuring Santa R.W. narrated by his wife, me, was originally published as a poem written in 1823. But it wasn't claimed authorship until 1837 by Clement Clark Moore, who had sent this as a gift, as a poem, to his friends and family. This version is in the public domain with interest to bring literary greats in historic times into the 21st century. I've adapted this version with bold letters for interactive reading and your favorite real Santa R.W. This is the year of the COVID global pandemic. So, you know, Santa has had to be creative this year and come up with different ways to make merry and jolly and bring it throughout the world. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. When the old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, the coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves set before the hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the curses they flew, with a sleigh of full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew, drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was the white as snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin 
was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know there was nothing to dread. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to you all, and to all a good night. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to you all, and to all a good night.